Hi, this is Jamie Davis, the pod medic. I'm here with Carl Craigle from Platte Valley Ambulance. He's the chief there, and he was here at the International Roundtable for Community Paramedicine in Vail, Colorado, to uh, find out more about community paramedicine initiatives. And Carl, we got a chance to talk a little bit, and I just am curious to find out from you, what are you taking home about community paramedicine that you think is really going to benefit your community in Platte Valley? I think what probably sparked our interest in it is it's twofold. One is um, it just simply helps us forward our mission. Um, we were started by the citizens of our community in 1972. We're owned by the citizens of our community. We're hospital-based now, but our hospital is community-owned. So this just brings us right back down to grassroots and opens up a whole new list of things that we can do to help connect our people to the health care that they need. So it just made sense. It was a no-brainer. Um, it also helped us answer the question of what are we as EMS? Are we public safety? Are we patient care? Are we transportation? My personal opinion is that we're probably a little bit of all three, but the, the public health aspect of it is probably where we need to be nested, focused. And again, this just provides a whole new list of options for us to, to follow through with. And it's a, it's a way that we can solidify um, our, um, 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 geez, I've lost the word. It's a way that we can solidify our um, uh, um, usefulness to the community. Um, you know, this, this is a, a, an essential public service that really nobody else can offer. We're one of the few, uh, if not the only entity left that can bring health care to your front door. So. Yeah, it really is interesting as I listen to the presentations here and listen to everybody talking, the different models that were out there, the one thing that everybody seemed to stress was this return to EMS as a, an essential provider of healthcare services, that we're not, you know, the adrenaline junkies. Yeah, we get into it somewhat for that reason maybe, and, and we like those types of calls, but ultimately it's about caring for our patients, and that means caring for them in a lot of different ways. Absolutely. Um, what we've always tried to tell our folks as we bring them into our organization as a new person is that EMS, um, the, the reality of EMS is that true emergencies uh, are very rare. They occur and, and we have to be prepared for them, but nevertheless, they're very rare. Medicine is occasional. And there, there's a lot of calls that we go on that the, we, we provide service, but we do, they're not really a patient. You know, occasionally we open up our kit and, and do that, but service is really all the time. It's 100%. And, and, and this, uh, this helps us expand the medical part of it and continue to provide that service. So. Carl, thanks a lot for sharing yes, your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you very much.